Hello, my lovely Geminis. How is everyone? I hope you guys are all doing amazing. So we are doing your February reading. It is a general reading, so it may not be able to resonate for all of you. If you want something that is meant for your exact energy, then I do have personals open. And everything that you'll need to know will be in the description box below for you. Archangels, spirit guides, and ancestors, please deliver clear messages with a very clear understanding for my lovely... Gemini's, please. May the messages that need to be heard the very most please come through. And may they please find those who need to hear them. Please show me Gemini's energy. A very clear message with a very clear understanding. All right, loves, let's take a look and see what is going on for you guys. All right, Gemini. So it does look like there is some kind of conversation, some kind of communication happening here or about to be happening. And I do feel like it's coming towards you. Now, for some of you guys, it could resonate the other way around, and that's okay. Just flip the rolls around if you need to. Um, but for a lot of you guys, I feel like you're the ones receiving the communication here, okay? You got the Eight of Wands here, Three of Swords in Reverse. I feel like somebody wants some kind of forgiveness or wants to heal something between the two of you, right? Somebody wants to heal something. Somebody wants some kind of forgiveness. The Death card in Reverse, they don't really want something to be over. So you could be having a conversation about that. I do feel like you're hesitant. Six of Wands in the Reverse, you're not sure if a second chance is going to be successful, if another chance is going to be successful. We do have the Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Wands in the reverse, and the Eight of Cups in the reverse. Yes, yeah, somebody's definitely trying to return here, but like I said, I feel some hesitancy from you, especially with that Six of Wands in the reverse. It's, I don't want to say that there's not a part of you that doesn't desire for it. It just feels like hesitant to actually take this opportunity. And I feel like it's because you're looking at what you value the most, Ten of Pentacles. You're looking at what you want that, what your life to look like, right? When you think about your dream life, your dream relationship, what do I want my life to look like in one year, five years? And I feel like you're asking yourself, does this align with it? Does this get me closer to, you know, who and where I'm trying to be or further away? Is this what's best for me or not? So even though I do feel like there's a conversation and there's a part of you that is feeling a pull towards it, I, I do feel hesitancy here. We're going to take a look at the person that you're dealing with and look at their energy as well. So tell me more about this Ten of Pentacles, please. Why is that here? King of Wands in the reverse. The thing is, is I feel like whatever this person is saying to you is everything that you want to hear. But with this King of Wands in the reverse, I feel like you're what is causing some of this hesitancy is that you're just not sure if this person is actually going to put the work in to back it up if their actions are going to align with their words right they could be making big promises but i feel like you've heard this before and the king of wands in the reverse it's like this person doesn't do what they need to do in order for you guys to have that that vision right got the judgment card in the reverse yeah you're just not sure um you know you have a big decision to make here Some of you, for this is this part is not going to be for all of you, but for some of you, this person wants to come back in and, um, you know, be intimate right away. They want they're wanting you know intimacy too, and I feel like you're kind of for some of you guys are deliberately choosing to hold that back from them, right? Like, no, I don't want to do that right now because I feel like some of you guys are worried that that's a big part of why they're coming back. Like I said, that message is not for everyone. You'll know if that's for you. To a sword. So, yeah, you do have the, a big decision. You get the Ace of Wands in the reverse. Hesitant to accept this uh, spark things up, this, this chance, right? To a sword is Moon and Libra energy. So kind of going back and forth, indecisive 
unsure what to do. You know, the advice for the Two of Swords is always to look within. You know, she's blindfolded. She doesn't have a choice but to look within. I kind of see the Two of Swords a little differently sometimes because, yes, she is blindfolded, but her hands are not tied together. She could just set those damn swords down and take her blindfold off, and then she could see just fine. So sometimes, to me, the Two of Swords can talk about when we when we deep down, we do know what we need to do, but we don't want to face up to that because it's hurtful, it's painful, it's going to be hard, right? So it's like that deep down, we do know what to do, but we don't we don't want to see it. So I think deep down, you do have, you know, you do know what you need to, you know what's best for you. You know what you need to do or what you should do, right? Um, but it doesn't make it easier to do, right? Knowing it's the right thing doesn't necessarily make it any easier to do. Eight of Cups in the reverse, Six of Cups. So yeah, definitely the past returning. And now it's just about a question of, yes, the past is trying to return to me, but do I want to return to the past? And can I have the future? Can this past turn into the future that I want? The life that I want? Some big energy here at the bottom of the deck. You got the King of Swords in the reverse, Gemini. So even when them, even with them coming back, there's something that you feel like they're either holding back or they're speaking half truth. So you're, there's something that still feels a little bit off about it here. But let's take a look at their energy towards you. Show me the person that Gemini is dealing with in this situation. What is their energy towards Gemini? What is their energy towards Gemini? What is their energy towards Gemini? The Justice in the reverse. Four of Cups in the reverse. The Lovers. So what's interesting to me is the Lovers typically for me has, you know, most of the cards do have more than one meaning, right? Um, and the lovers for me has typically three major meanings. Not only, but major, right? Um, it does typically represent a major connection, okay? That bond, that deep connection. It also represents a major decision, and it can represent a turning point as well. And I kind of feel all three of these here. Uh, I do feel like this person recognizes that you guys do have it a deep connection here right they also know that right now you have a big decision to make i do feel like they want to turn things around here because they are acknowledging where they have done you wrong at and understanding that that is why you're closed off to them they want you four cups in the reverse to come out of that to open back up to them, to open your heart to them. You know, a lot of times I see the Four of Cups as the closed off heart. And I, I feel that here. This person knows that you are, they can feel that you are hesitant to accept them back in. They can feel that you're guarded when it comes to them. And they know why. They know it's because they've done you wrong here in the past. But they want to turn things around. Tell me about this justice in the reverse, please. Nine of Cups in the reverse. They're not sure if they're going to get their wish here. Ace of Cups in the reverse. Eight of Cups in the reverse. Wow. So they def they are returning to you, but they understand that you may not be, you may not feel the same way that you once did. The Ace of Cups in the reverse to me can be sometimes an energy of unrequited love it can also just be an energy of i don't think it necessarily is unrequited love i feel like you do have love for this person i just feel like the love may not be the same as it used to be you know you may not have the same feelings that you used to have towards them um, well, sometimes that happens when we get hurt when we've been put through a lot right it changes the way that we feel not that we don't love them anymore but it adds other feelings to the mix too right resentment anger hurt and the Ace of Cups as well, it's an outpouring of emotion. Um, you know, the cup is overflowing. It could feel like there's just been too much here. 
too much to get past. Tell me about this Four of Cups in the reverse. Five of Swords in the reverse. So they do feel some remorse for their actions. They do feel some remorse for their actions. They don't want to argue. They don't want to fight. But they know that you're not sure about them. King of Wands in the reverse are not exactly sure what action to take. They're not exactly sure what action to take here. To make you open up to them. Tell me about this lover's energy. Six of Wands in the reverse. The thing is, is I feel like they're, they're finally starting to see where... They did not value your connection the way that they should have. The six of wands in the reverse to me can be a card of, you know, not giving somebody the praise, recognition, validation that they deserve, right? The attention that they deserve. Um, not really seeing its value or not you're not treating it accordingly. I feel like that's that's a big energy here is they're realize they're they're finally realizing what this connection is. And it's like now they're finally realizing it. They're realizing that they didn't treat it accordingly and that it may be too little too late. That's a lot of realizations all at once. Two of Pentacles in reverse. You have a decision to make. They know that they can't make this one for you. They don't know what to do to show you that they've had these realizations here. There's a lot to get past. It's going to be work. And I think you know that, Gemini, and I feel like that's what causes you the most um, discontent or the most hesitancy is because you know that it is going to be work to get past everything here, and you're not sure that this person is actually going to put the action and do the work. So you have a big decision to make this month, my loves. But that is what I have for you. Now, if this resonates, let me know in the comments down below. If it doesn't, then check out your other placements. Everything that you'll need to know, whether it's about this reading, scheduling your personals, or Patreon, all of that is in the description box below for you. And if you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. And most importantly, if you want personal prayers for any reason, you guys can just put a little prayer emoji in the comments down below, and I will go through and pray for you. So I am sending so much love and light until next time.